This is a 70 kV high voltage transformer, uh, which was removed from a dental tube head. Uh, the transformer has two secondaries, 35 kilovolts each. Uh, one side feeds the anode of the x-ray tube and the other side feeds the cathode. And the side that feeds the cathode, the side here, has some extra wires on it. Uh, the blue and the yellow wire go to the filaments, or the filament of the tube. And the red wire goes to the grid of the tube, or the focusing cup. And um, there's an internal resistor uh, to bias the tube. Uh, which will range anywhere from about 10k to about 30k. And um, the other side con normally connects to the anode of the tube. And what I've done is I put a couple of paper clips just to form an arc here, uh, just to show that the transformer actually does work. I'm going to power this with a Variac. It's a 0 to 120 volt Variac. But I'm not going to let the input voltage get over about 30, 30 to 40 volts input. Because normally this transformer is supposed to be operated immersed in oil. And if you don't operate it immersed in oil at full voltage, uh, the windings will arc internally and damage the transformer. So we're just going to keep the voltage low. And here I'm going to switch the Variac on and then slowly crank up the voltage until we get some arcing. There we go. Let me get a close-up of that. Hold on, I'm going to turn the light off here. Okay. Get a better shot. Okay, here we go. Slowly crank up the voltage until it starts to arc. There we go. It's a pretty hot arc. Here we go, roughly, uh, it's roughly about three quarters of an inch, maybe almost an inch wide. So, um, other features of this transformer, let me disconnect that so I don't shock myself. Uh, this green wire goes to ground. That's uh, the low side of one of the windings. This happens to be the low side of the cathode winding. And the other side, right here, that's the uh, low side of the anode high voltage winding. Uh, you can remove that and stick a millimeter in, in the circuit there and monitor the, the current. Uh, normally these transformers supply about 10, 7 to 10 milliamps to the x-ray tube. Uh, for a short period of time. If you run it much higher than that for a long period of time, you're likely going to burn it out. So, anyhow, there you go. Oh, oh, by the way, there's a nice, couple of nice mounting brackets on here. You can remove these, these nuts and these bolts. Flip the bracket upside down so that the, uh, so this part is is on the bottom here, and it makes a, a nice mount. And as you can see, the brackets uh, can be flipped around on both sides. And the top brackets can be flipped around too if you want to do that. So, and transformer can be easily taken apart. There's a couple of E sections. Just remove all four bolts and it slides apart very easily. So you can remove the internal resistor, change its value, or do what you want with it. So, very nice transformer. Bye.